All right, let's go ahead and answer this question. Which of the following best supports a patient with COPD who is a lifelong smoker? What do you all think the answer is? All right, I'm seeing a lot of Bs and the answer is going to be B. Remember that patients with COPD are going to likely have a chronic respiratory acidosis. And if they're going to be having a chronic respiratory acidosis, likely over time, because it's a chronic process, they are going to be compensated. Let's go ahead and localize that on the Davenport diagram. As we know, we're talking about acidosis. So C, E, and F are totally out because those are all alkali. Now you're left with A, B, and D. In the case of COPD, these patients have a chronic respiratory acidosis. And so we need to find the CO2 isobar that is going to be elevated. And that is either A or B. Like I said, when you are going to have some element of compensation, you are going to come off of this purple isobar, which is going to be related to your um, acute respiratory acidosis. Answer choice B is exactly what's going to fit with the chronic respiratory acidosis. And that is going to be when your kidneys are going to say, wow, I have a lot of CO2 in my body, and thus they are going to reabsorb more bicarb. And this occurs at the level of the proximal convoluted tubule. All right. 